I'm going to pick on wheat. Because wheat's easy to pick on. And wheat has a protein called gluten. One of the reasons that you're hearing more and more about gluten, every time you go to the grocery store, there's more gluten-free things. The guy that won the uh, last big tennis tournament, he's gluten-free. Uh, so we're hearing more and more. And how come we're hearing so much about that? And that's because wheat has been genetically modified. Sounded like my ring. It's been genetically modified three separate times in the last century to have more protein. The fact that that protein is gluten never, came, never entered anybody's consciousness. So the wheat that you eat today is not the wheat of the Bible. It's not the bread of life. That was einkorn wheat which you can actually buy today in Palestine. Um, it's very, very different. So we got gluten. Gluten's a great big protein. Why do plants have it? Because wheat and the other grains don't want to be eaten. Okay? They're trying to survive and reproduce. They can't run away. They don't have big thorns. They don't have big shells like a nut. So what's to keep them from just being eaten? They have evolved proteins designed to inflame the guts of predators. To do two things. Poop the seeds out with diarrhea before they're digested and damaged. And discourage the predator. Oh man, I'm hungry. I think, oh no, last time I ate that, I felt that. I have a tummy. Yeah, that sounds really stupid and simple minded. That's exactly how Mother Nature works. Animals, on the other hand, have adapted ways of dealing with it. Cows, they, they have a rumen, they have this part where food goes into and it's fermented uh, by bacteria before it ever gets into their stomach. So they're letting the bacteria bear the brunt of the toxins. Now, let's go back to gluten. Big, complex protein. No human can fully digest gluten. We do not have the proper digestive enzymes.